Welcome to Community Spotlight here on Business Radio X. I'm Mike Salmon, and this special series offers brief interviews with business leaders that are making things happen, especially during this unique time in our history with the viral pandemic that's been going on. Today, we're joined by Mark Farmer. He's the Economic Development Manager with the county's Economic Development Office. And Mark's been working very hard for the past couple of months on the Small Business Assistance Program. That's providing loans and grants to small businesses in need here in Gwinnett County. And Mark, first of all, thank you for joining us on Community Spotlight. Can you give us an overview on how the program is going? Uh, I can, Mark, and thank you for having me, and thank you for the opportunity to update folks on uh, the progress. Briefly, uh, the program, again, called, as you mentioned, Small Business Assistance Program. Gwinnett County, several weeks ago, received directly some CARES Act funding because of its population, because of being more than 500,000 population. Gwinnett uh, received some direct CARES Act funding, something on the order of $160 million dollars. And the county has been uh, working to distribute that money in the community in various ways. There's been a, a, a program for nonprofits, uh, but my part has been uh, small business uh, assistance. And so the county set aside $20 million to help small businesses, $10 million each in a loan program and in a grant program. Uh, it was a rather large undertaking and we had a very short time to get it up and running. So we assembled some teams to do this. Uh, We have a team internally, the Community Development Department at the county, that was well positioned to do uh, the grants, to administer the grant program. I sort of sat at the center of this as the project manager, uh, but we did need uh, people to review applications because we knew there were going to be a lot of them, Uh, and indeed we were right about that. On the loan side, we partnered with an organization that's a nonprofit. Uh, Some of your listeners may be uh, aware of them or know about them. They're called Access to Capital for Entrepreneurs, or ACE. ACE is a longtime small business lending nonprofit. And so they were well positioned to help us administer the loan program. So we worked with both of those groups to put together uh, eligibility requirements and an online application. The applications went live at noon on June 30th, and the deadline was July 24th at 5 p.m. So over the course of that span of time, uh, we received something on the order of just under 2,500 applications for grants and about a little over 300 applications for loans. So quite a bit of work to go through that. This is federal funding. And so we, of course, have to comply with federal guidelines. And uh, we set about looking at those applications, doing our due diligence and we are in the process of getting that money out to the applicants. Speaking of getting that money out, the deadline was in late July. Here we are now a month later, late August. As of today, how many awards have been made out there? ACE has closed about 56 loans for a total of about $5.5 million. They've got uh, another seven closings pending for an additional about half a million dollars. And then an additional 33 are in the underwriting process for about $4.3 million. So that sort of brings you up to speed on the, on the loan side. On the grant side, about 200 grant applicants have been notified that they are receiving grants. That totals up about $2 million. They are in the process of distributing agreements to those uh, recipients They have to sign an agreement with the county saying that they will comply with the eligibility and reporting requirements of the grant. Uh, Once those agreements are fully signed, legal reviewed and fully signed by the county, then the grants will be distributed. Uh, Right now, there's probably about 100 or so agreements that have been sent out and have been sent back to the county for review and signature. So we, we hope we'll be getting the grant money out very soon to the first round of recipients. I want to emphasize to our listeners that this is the county program. This is the Gwinnett County Economic Development Office. So everyone's heard about the the federal PPP program, the EIDL programs. How does this connect with the PPP and the EIDL programs? Yeah, we got that question a lot. In fact, we made that one of our FAQs on our program website early on because over the past several months, a lot of small businesses in Gwinnett and, of course, across the country received one or more of these, this program assistance funding. And just briefly, PPP is Paycheck Protection Program. This was something that the Small Business Administration came up with just as a response to COVID. 
And the EIDL program stands for Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. It was a program that had been in place for some years and is typically used post hurricane, tornado, earthquake, that sort of thing. And the Small Business Administration, the SBA, adjusted it for COVID. So we, I got the question many times, okay, I got EIDL or PPP or both, am I eligible for the Gwinnett program? The answer is yes, but we wanted our applicants to disclose that because what we wanted to do was start with the applicants who uh, did not receive either of those. Not every business qualified for one or the other for various reasons. They each have their eligibility requirements and several local businesses uh, did not receive either one, were not eligible for them. And so we wanted to start our program with the ones who got neither of those. So we are going in that direction. Also, uh, because these programs came from different federal agencies, there were some, really some instances in which they actually conflicted. So the guidelines from one program sort of butted up against the guidelines for the other program, because as we all know, COVID, even though we're months into it, was very much an emergency response situation. And so, and I don't envy the Small Business Administration and some of the other federal programs who were pushing money out, believe me, they had to stand up multi-billion dollar programs in the span of a few weeks. And so uh, I think the PPP is up to maybe 25 adjustments in its guidelines. So it, it is a tall order to get these programs up and running. So there were a handful of times uh, where we we would run across an issue where our CARES Act funding might conflict somewhat with one of these programs, but we worked through it. I was on the phone with Washington a few times to get that straightened out. And we, we worked around it because all the agencies ultimately realize what's at stake here and what we're trying to do, which is help small business. So we put, yes, if you are eligible, if you got one of these, you're still eligible for the Gwinnett program, but we might've had to do a little adjustment along the way. Mark, I know one of the questions you're getting all the time is, I applied, when am I going to hear from you? But another question I'm sure you get all the time right now is, are there any plans to extend the program and open up applications again? Great question. And on the first one, I'll, I'll reiterate, you know, when will I be notified? I, I, I ask for our patients on the business community. Believe me, I've had over the past several weeks and months, dozens of conversations with businesses who are really struggling right now. And I get it. I really, really do. I can assure you from the inside that we are moving through the application pool as quickly as we possibly can. But again, with just under 3,000 applications, it's taking some time. And we are, again, obligated to comply with federal guidelines, which means we, we have to go through certain steps to make sure that happens. But we will notify applicants as quickly as possible. I get phone calls and emails asking about status. At this point, most of the loans applicants have been notified. There's still quite a few grant applicants who have not heard from us yet other than a general email from me saying, if you received a application number, it means that you're in line for review and you will be notified as quickly as we can evaluate your application. So please be patient with us. Still feel free to contact me if you want to, but that is the status until further notice is that you're in line for review and we'll let you know as quickly as possible. As to a program extension, uh, I don't have any information on that currently. Uh, that, of course, is a decision for county leadership. And if uh, they decide to do that, our applicant pool will be the first ones to know. We've been collecting emails and uh, putting them on our distribution list. I've received several folks who missed the deadline and they're interested in finding out about it. I'm collecting their information. If there is an extension, we will shout it from the mountaintops. We'll tell you, Mike. We'll tell media. We'll put it on our social media. We will tell everybody we possibly can that the program has been extended. But as of right now, I have not received any word that that will happen. And again, I want to emphasize, and you've mentioned it several times, that you guys are work, working as quickly as you can. So patience is, a, is definitely a virtue when it comes to what we're doing right now with this assistance program. Is there a website or someplace people can go to get information not so much on the status, because I know you'll reach out to them once you have a decision, but to find out more information, if it is extended, things like of that nature. Absolutely. What I would recommend is that people go to the county website, which is GwinnettCounty.com. There's a drop down menu for departments. Click on the drop down menu and you'll see economic development. 
and just click on that and you'll see a host of resources there for small business. I want to make folks aware of all of that, uh, but you'll see there where you can click to the Small Business Assistance Program and it's got all the information about the program, including my contact information, uh, which I'll just give it here as well, mark.farmer at gwinnettcounty.com. If you have a question, email me, it's what I'm here for. I'm happy to talk with you. If any of your listeners, any small businesses have questions, I'm happy to talk them through it. I'll do a quick plug for our Entrepreneur Center too, with the county's developing a center that we hope to open early next year. Please go to that website too. There's a place there for people to enter their information so that we can provide them updates on that as well. Well, Mark, I appreciate your time and thank you for joining us on the Community Spotlight. As I let you go, I do have one last question and that is, has there any, been anything that has surprised you as you've gone through this process over the last couple of months? That's a great question, Mike. I would say, let's just say that, I'll put it this way. I continue to be amazed at the resilience, resourcefulness, cleverness, and work ethic of the entrepreneur community. I've been doing entrepreneurship support in Gwinnett now for about a decade, actually a little more. And I'm encouraged as challenging as this period of time is that we're in just how much some of these businesses have pivoted. I mean, I know a lot of them are really struggling and sometimes there's not a great answer, but some of them have really stepped up. They recognize that it's, you know, they're going to have to dig into their entrepreneurial spirit here and, and respond. And I've been amazed at some of the stories I've heard about how they're doing that. And I, I'm encouraged by that as challenging as this time is. We're all in this together. And although we seem to see some signs of it starting to loosen up and get a little bit better, it still looks like we're going to be in this for a little bit longer. So we just need to continue to work together. And again, be very patient. We appreciate what the county has done with this economic program, the Small Business Assistance Program. And again, Mark, thank you so much for giving us an update on what's been going on. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. All right, Mark Farmer joining us here on Community Spotlight. And thank you for joining us here on Business Radio X. 